Hi friends, happy holidays. So today we'll be taking a look at the concept of tree shakeable providers in Angular. So for today's topic, I have created an Angular 11 application and I have created a sample service called the state service and I have declared it as an injectable and uh, it just uh, sets and gets a username. So prior to Angular 6, when we needed to use a Angular service, we needed to register it in an Angular module and then we could inject it in any of the Angular components and components or services and then we could use it freely. So here for the example, I have injected the state service in this component and I am using the getter in the HTML so that I can view the username. So this is the running application. One of the drawbacks of registering an Angular service in an Angular module is that even when I am not using the service, that is, I have not injected the service in any of the components. Uh, like for this example, I am removing the service reference and I am also commenting the service from the HTML and uh, I am rerunning the application. So it is uh, the username is not displayed here. Uh, but you can see that still the service is included in the main.js which is our uh, main bundle. Uh, this is because we have registered this uh, state service in the providers array of the Angular module. So uh, why this happens is like Webpack which uses tree shaking process for the ES6 uh, imports. So uh, when it checks for the state service variable, it finds a reference in the provider array. So it does not know that uh, whether the actual service is getting used anywhere else uh, in the application, but uh, it will find a reference here in the Angular module provider array and it believes that it is being used. So what happens is it will get included in the bundle unless we remove it from the provider array. So when we remove it from the provider array, you can see that the uh, state service got uh, tree shaken and uh, it is removed from the bundle. In order to support tree shaking in the Angular services and still use them in our Angular application, from Angular 6 onwards, uh, Angular introduced the tree shakeable providers. So this is the syntax for tree shakeable provid providers. So here you can give uh, one of the three options, uh, any platform or root. So we will be going through each of them. So Initially, we will have a look at the any option. So I am giving any here and saving the uh, code. Now I will uh, inject the service in the component and also uh, uncomment the uh, HTML. So now if we see the service is working as expected and uh, it is getting included in the bundle as well. So the advantage of this approach is that whenever I um, comment this out or remove the reference for the uh, service in my component, it will be automatically removed from the main.js file. So what is the meaning of the any option which we provided for the tree shakeable service? So it may, it is equivalent to the um, registering the provider in any ng module so uh, the main difference between this any and the root option is that if we define uh, a tree shakeable provider as root there will be only a single instance of the uh, service in our entire application but in case of any yeah, suppose we uh, load any lazy loaded modules into the application there it can result in multiple instances of the services. So for demonstrating this behavior, I have added a uh, separate module called the lazy module. So as of now, I am not lazy loading this module. Like it contains the same component and uh, the service is getting injected here. And only difference is that I am uh, changing the username here on the initial, uh, initialization of the uh, lazy component. So here in the app module, I have eagerly uh, imported the module here and uh, let's run the application. Now you can see that 
the username got changed because I changed it in the uh, lazy component and uh, since it is eagerly loaded uh, even though it is an any uh, option which you provided in the service if you check in the memory you can see that there is only a single instance of the state service and the username is robert and it is injected at the uh, lazy component so uh, even if i change to the root option here uh, i am changing to root uh, you can still see that the uh, effect is same in cases of uh, an eagerly loaded module so again if we take the dump of uh, the memory you can see that still there is a single instance so in case of eagerly modules there is no difference between the any and the root option now let's see what happens in the case of an of a lazy loaded module so for this purpose i have uh, added a lazy routing module so in this i have defined the lazy component and the router module for child i have defined these routes and uh, i have imported uh, like i will be importing the lazy routing module in the lazy module and in the main uh, app module i am creating a app routing module there i am giving a path called lazy and i will be using load children to uh, lazy load the lazy module so uh, now in the app command html uh, i will remove this app dot lazy and use the router outlet to load it uh, lazily so uh, now let's see what happens in our application so currently uh, i am using the root option in the provider so uh, when you refresh the application you can see that uh, still the same uh, instance of the provider or the service is used across the application now uh, let's take a memory them. so in the snapshot you can see that uh, still there is only a single instance now uh, let's see what happens when i change this to any so here you can see in the application that uh, the main uh, provider is still has the old value just bob and the daisy loaded module has the new value so uh, now to confirm that let us take a memory snapshot and here you can see that there are two instances of the state service and one will have the username bob and other will have the username as robert so you can see that the first one is in the app component and the second one is there in the lazy component so this is the main difference between the any and the root option for tree shakeable providers so now what is the third option the platform option in the provider so um, it is mainly used when we have multiple angular applications in the same page like uh, in case of angular elements where we have multiple web components in the same page so um, this needs a totally different setup for the angular project center so we will be covering this topic in a future video. Hope you were able to get a better understanding of the tree shakeable providers and their use cases. See you soon. Thank you.